Today, the remains of the desert castle of Mashata, located to the south of the Jordanian capital Amman and recently restored by archaeologists from the Technical University in Berlin, is surrounded by industrial plants and an airport. Mshata is probably one of several desert castles with plentiful wall paintings, mosaics and stucco sculptures, which were founded by the later Umayyad Caliph Al-Walid ibn Yazid around 743. Although most of the surrounding stone wall remained unadorned, the entrance gate is completely covered in decoration. Why the caliph chose to decorate the entrance facade remains unknown. By looking closer at the facade's ornamentation, we may be better able to answer this difficult yet important question. Much of the surface is covered with grapevines, a motif that in many pre-Islamic cultures signified wealth, fertility and prosperity. In the early Christian period, grapevines also came to symbolize God, and at this time many mosaics of grapevines were incorporated into church decoration throughout the Near East. Next to the vase is a griffin, a mythological creature which was a frequent element in the arts of pre-Islamic cultures of the Near East. It has the body of a lion and the head of an eagle. In Greco-Roman and early Christian art, griffins were often depicted symmetrically on both sides of a vase. On the Mashata facade, however, the griffin faces a simorg. This hybrid creature, combining a dog and a peacock, originated in ancient Iranian mythology and art. This example from the Mashata facade shows the artisans working in the early Islamic period combined elements from various cultural contexts. We may ask again, why did the caliph choose to decorate his palace with these types of images and visual motifs? Perhaps he wanted to show that he could unite different artistic, cultural and religious traditions in a new, peaceful and glorious empire.